And this is a log house that we've been restoring for about three years now. It's a, not constantly, but uh, bits at a time. And uh, we just got to have a little bit more to do. Uh, the John Overton cabin, but uh, it's been a it's been a project of love. It's a lot of effort goes into restoring one. You can't just modify it as you go. You've got to try to keep it true to the original. Uh, we had to replace some things, but we tried to do it tastefully and and uh, keep it as a restoration. But mid 90s, I was going to go cut me a kiss Christmas tree. And I told my wife, let's go down on Grandpa's old farm. Of course, I had no idea where it was. I'm an amateur genealogist, so we came down Brushy Valley here to the uh, Bluebird Christmas Tree Farm and uh, cut a tree, and I noticed this home here. Uh, at the time, it had lapboard siding on the side of it, and uh, when I went back to, to, uh, to check out with Leo, I didn't know him at the time, uh, he told me this was, was uh, John Overton's cabin, and I just grinned, and I had done enough genealogy to realize that that is my great, great, great grandfather. That was the firstborn son of Joseph Overton that had moved here in Brushy Valley in 1799. When you do a restoration, it's better if you don't try to make the new stuff you have to replace look exactly like the old. And that is so when people are studying the structure later, they don't get confused. So. So these logs are all original. You can actually see some of the newsprint from like the 1920s and 30s. They would nail and glue all the print that they had to uh, block out the wind coming in. Everybody's heard the old comment about throwing a cat through the crack in the wall. Well, that's what they were doing, sealing up the, the cracks. But at any rate, these are the original logs, but the bottom, the two bottom ones we had to replace because they had rotted. We had to replace the, the uh, doors uh, because they no longer fit. We have the original doors, but the uh, original doors no longer fit after we raised it up and added some logs to the bottom. We just didn't plan ahead quite enough for that. So we used all the uh, uh, original doors as, as models and made the new doors exactly like them. Same patterns and same kind of nails and everything. 